Guys, hit that like button down below if you want to get the secret style for Eternal Night because it is amazing. And speaking of which, we are going to be going over a bunch of stuff in regards to skin styles. So obviously, as I said, I'm going to be showing you how to get the secret style for Eternal Night. Obviously, we have the base version with its different styles, but there are secret styles on top of those. That's right, and I'm going to be showing you how to get them. Also, we got to talk a bit about some other skin styles, such as the henchman styles as well, and more. So it's going to be a very fun video. Be sure to watch it all the way through so you're fully aware of how to get these things. And with that being said, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, as well as turn on notifications, because I post these types of videos helping you get free skins and styles quite a bit, so if you're subscribed, you won't miss them. And on top of that, if you want to help support the channel, be sure to use code THELAMASER in the item shop as an epic partner that does in fact help support the channel, and I appreciate it a ton. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it here. Now, before we get into the stuff to do with Eternal Night, I first of all want to talk about some other free skins and stuff, which are awesome as well. So basically what I'm talking about here are the henchman skins. That is right, guys. Two henchman skins were leaked as official skins that we're going to be able to get for our characters. Now, specifically, let's go through and look at these. You've got the basic ghost and shadow versions of the henchmen. So the ghost one is this one right here. Obviously, we know this one all too well. Their amazing aim and all of that stuff from last season. But yeah, you can see that it has an official skin like locker image right there. And on top of that, we've also got the shadow version right here, which is my personal favorite. I think it looks a lot better than the ghost version. But as I was saying, these have official locker images, meaning that we're going to be able to get them as skins very, very soon. And specifically free skins. But obviously that then asks the question, how do we go about getting them? Well, there are some ideas. So let's go ahead and hop into game. So yeah, guys, hopping into game right now, let's take a look on the map at these spots that are rumored to maybe have ways to unlock these special styles for the henchmen skins. Then after that, we'll get into some of the other stuff. You guys know the drill. So yeah, here we are in the lobby looking good. And actually, what do you guys think of me using... I'm switching up my back bling a little bit, seeing how it goes with the Midas skin, using the uh, gold token back bling, the legendary one. What do you guys think about that? Leave a comment down below. For this, we're just going to hop into Battle Lab to uh, investigate. So guys, here we are on the map right away. Now, the place I want to check out is something that actually had a huge leak about it that is going to be coming up later in the season. That is why I personally think it is going to be a location we can unlock these secret skins at. And we'll talk about that leak in a second here. But basically, the spot I'm talking about is the Grotto because obviously you guys already likely know that it has been filled up with water, which is very, very weird because this leak shows later on in the season, this water is going to go away. Isn't that really interesting? So I want to investigate it real quick here and see if there's anything we can find right away. Now we may have to go into replay because obviously we can't dive too far down. Like what if we build a ramp right here like that kind of and try to dive under it a bit. So diving on down and looking under the water at least, you can see that there just appears to be like rock filling up the bottom. So we can't get down there quite yet. But what about the other location as well? Maybe that holds a secret for the new skins. So running over to the other opening over here. This one's way more open and you can see that. What is this right here? Yeah, this is the door. So that is still there. We can build and look at that. We can go like way lower with that. But if we look on under there, that too. Wait, what is that down there? Guys, what is that? There's something at the bottom of the grotto, but I can't quite tell what it is from up here. Oh my gosh. And now I'm getting hurt from the water. But what was that? I can barely tell what it is from up here. We'll have to take a look at that in replay. All right. Well, we'll go to replay in just a second here. There's one last entrance that we can possibly check out, but uh, I'm not expecting too much. Yeah, the eyes are blocked off from the front of it. You've got the nose right here, and then the other eye right here. So, uh, yeah, we can't get through there, but what about going through the nose a bit? <laughs> yeah, this is blocked off as well. We just got, like, a little secret spot, which is interesting. All right, so nothing too crazy right there, but we need to check out what that thing was in replay. Let's head on down to the grotto. Make sure my player is close enough to... What is that? <laughs> Do you guys see that weird glitch? I've never seen that before, but all right, we got uh, we got my player, my character right down there. So it should show up if I go under here. 
Oh my gosh, there it is. What? Oh my, no. <laughs> no way, dude. It's a llama. Wow. The llama was messing with us. Oh my gosh. I thought that was like an air canister or something. Like it was going to blow up more of the grotto and show more off. But it was just a llama down there. That's really weird. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a bit disappointing and surprising at the same time. <laughs> okay, I know that llama was messing with us, but I just found something else over here. Remember, there's actually a fourth entrance to the grotto grotto and it's over on this side however you can't see it or get to it because it is underwater and look at this guys this is crazy so we get closer it's a little bit cloudy but as you look you can see that there is a giant door blocking off the inside of the grotto you can also see that this uh, shadow symbol is right there which may have been there before I don't exactly remember but this door is definitely brand new they didn't just block it off with rocks they added a door specifically meaning that when the water level eventually goes down and according to leaks we do know that that is in fact going to happen that's one of the big leaks I wanted to talk about the water level is going to go down and more of the grotto is going to be revealed I think we're going to be able to get inside of the grotto again and maybe find the henchman skins somewhere maybe in the vault or something and unlock them that way but that door is right there and it is super peculiar what do you guys think about that oh and also there was one other thing I found that's pretty interesting so for some reason when you hop into replay and go into the nose you can see that there is a chest down here and it's one of the like chest people type things that they added this season look at that fully functional chest or whatever you want to call it but as you may remember it was not spawning in game for us which is very very odd i'm not sure exactly what that is or if you can even reach this chest from up here when you're swimming but yeah this is right here which is very weird then after that guys let's talk about the eternal night secret stuff styles that we can unlock here right now. We don't have to wait for any future update. You can actually get these now if you know how to go about getting them and you put in the work. So first of all, let's just go over these styles themselves. Basically, these are the enlightened styles of Eternal Night and there are three of them in total. Now going through them here, the first of which is the black super style as you can see right here. Now this one is crazy and it's also just an image. It has a little bit of an animation to it, I believe as well, but it is basically a glowing red version of the Eternal Night skin. And you gotta admit, that looks pretty sick. But yeah, definitely makes the skin a lot more interesting. And not only that, you also have the Gold Super skin, which gives it that same sort of animation, but entirely gold with its uh, coloring and stuff like that, which is also very awesome. And then third is the more basic one, the Default Super. It's more of a whitish gray, but it's still got that glow to it. It's just a bit more subtle. And honestly, I like this one a lot as well, since it is a bit more subtle, a bit more clear, Clean, but it's definitely pretty cool and since this is an enlightened style as you go about unlocking this it'll slowly start like at the head with like for example the red will start at only the head and then as you progress it'll cover more and more of the skin until you get it to max which is obviously the entire skin covered in this animation and coloring and things like that so with that being said the way that you unlock this you may have guessed is by leveling up if you go into the battle pass it actually mentions this style inside of the uh, little message for it says bonus for honor continue leveling up to show off eternal knight's true colors now you may have been wondering what that means but basically it means the enlightened styles that i just showed you now specifically what level do you have to get to in order to get these different styles you may think it's 150 but it is actually specifically level 160 which in all honesty really isn't that tough to get to you'll probably get there by the end of the season if you play at least semi-consistently you know complete your challenges, complete your punch card and things like that, even your daily challenges and things, you'll eventually get there pretty easily. There's definitely nothing like too difficult about that. And also if you want more XP tips, be sure to check out my video that I posted recently, specifically on how to get XP in the fastest way here in season three. That one's up on the channel. It's probably linked in the description, but yeah, follow those things and you'll be able to get that. Hopping back into game here, I wanted to look more around the map in regards to those free henchman skins and I found some interesting stuff like you know how we were talking about the water has been leaked to go down further and further well I found some more stuff that points towards that obviously we have the leaked maps and things like that but there's already stuff in game that you can see underwater like for example here we're over in weeping woods and take a look at this bridge you can see that there is seaweed on the bridge that they specifically put there not only that but the benches have been 
overturned and all of that stuff and look at that there's even a chest still under here which is hilarious obviously you can't get to that quite yet but it is there which is very peculiar but yeah weeping woods was like one of my favorite spots to drop so i've been looking around to see if anything else is around here oh here we go we've got the entire weeping woods building that's so weird though it's underneath all of this stuff and looking through here you can see that yeah we've got more seaweed down here which again this is under like the trash heap and everything got all of these benches everywhere this is still completely covered but they've moved everything around you can see the furniture is all moved around and there's still ammo boxes and things like that that spawn the chests and everything still spawns which is just again like super cool to take a look at the water is going to go down and reveal weeping woods again similarly what about slurpy swamp it looks like it is also changed up a ton okay that's a bit weird there's like a floating light so maybe this location is a bit different it's also missing a lot of the usual things that are here so this location might not actually return well then again look at this right here you can see that the truck is tipped over and you've got seaweed on the sides and everything you've even got a tree up here so maybe that location is in fact going to return as the water level goes back down and that's when we're going to be able to get those free skins and what is this thing right here what the heck why is there just a random pipe sitting there that's so weird however i will say that i don't seem to see anything about the terrain of slurpy swamp i can't find the actual like swamps themselves it's all just pretty basic stuff you've got the road right here but that's about it so yeah it looks like we're going to be getting those free skins as the water level starts to decrease but anyways guys that is going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for more fun videos like this coming up in the near future on top of that you can check out some of my previous videos on the screen right now there are some very good ones definitely check them out but again guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one